is a natural development of the ego that the ego is becoming more and more individualistic. So, a person should have been content with being alone on his own because that's the inner tendency. But still, people suffer. Where does the feeling of suffering as a result of the loneliness come from, even though that is if naturally this is where we're directed to become ever more individualistic and still we suffer as a result? No. The problem is that on part of the ego, we're developing towards greater individualism. That's the linear development. And according to our circular development that started in the 1950s, we're supposed to be closed inside an integral system. Which means what? That we have to be interconnected in a good and nice way. Not simply because we work at the same place or watch TV together or whatever, but that we have to fulfill our desire of being in a single system with everyone else. This desire is still unclear to us. So, what follows is that I'm developing in two different ways, in a linear way and a circular way. And I want both? I want both. I want for them to support each other and for the two to be as one. And what follows is that I don't understand this form of development, that the entire world is becoming like a global village. I think that yeah, scientists depend on each other, merchants, politicians, but what does it have to do with me? No, we see that all of nature is closing in this way, that if something happens on the one side of the world, it resonates on the other side, that we're all interconnected. And it's not in vain that there are different organizations that go against the emission of CO2 and so on, and also regarding the oceans, what we're doing, that it's all interconnected, and nature is showing us how integral it is. And human society is also discovering that this is how it is too, but it's still not demanding of a person to be connected to society. We didn't reach that yet, and this is something that we'll have to discover. So this is actually the human integration? Nature, eventually, is directed at bringing us closer to each other to a point where we'll have no choice. And in order for us to be able to truly internally be content with life, we'll have to find an inner formula for our connection. You talked about loneliness and emptiness. What's the difference between the two? Emptiness comes as a result of the loneliness. Simple. And this is something that we have to discover. Because maybe I even feel that I'm lonely. And maybe I'd even give up being alone. I'd give up my isolation. But I don't know how to do it. I wasn't taught how to do it. Neither teachers, nor psychologists, nor psychiatrists, and the different people that I turned to, and I asked them, when I turn on different shows where they talk about nature, man, about a person's social problems, personal problems in the current modern world, I don't see, and actually all of these experts, this is how they are too. And they have no recommendations. They also don't have a clear attitude as to how to bring people closer, even though that they understand that this might be the solution. So how to bring closer people that are so individualistic, this is unclear. And here I can say that only the wisdom of Kabbalah can help us. The only thing that we need is the wisdom of Kabbalah. 
That explains how can we connect above our ego, where love covers for all crimes, that we remain isolated from each other. We don't touch each other, we don't bend anyone. But what we build here is a layer above our nature, a layer of connection, as if a roof. And under this roof, there is us, the individualists, and still, in order to exist in a good, right, correct way and build the correct kind of life, we all build a roof. And this roof is built on the second story. It doesn't cancel our individualism. It only helps us build the right kind of connection above us. And this allows us to exist on two different levels. Internally, I develop, and there I'm alone on my own, and no one can go there on the one hand. And on the second story, on which we build our integral connection, there we build ourselves in the shape and the form of a circle. So what we have is internally, all of us are as a line, don't touch me, this regarding our inner, personal state. And towards others, I'm open to be as one man and one heart with everyone. Meaning there is integration above the loneliness here, where both exist together, and therefore this is the new method which is the method of connection that comes from the wisdom of Kabbalah. And this is what we have to teach humanity. Both of these systems exist internally simultaneously, or one is internal and the other external. Yeah, we can say that the external method is the circular method of connection, and the internal method, it speaks about a person per se. And it's not two methods, actually. It turns into one method, it becomes one method, that the more we connect, the more it helps us develop internally, individualistically. So a person's ego goes and grows all the time. And what happens to the circular layer? By becoming more and more egoistic, we build our connection on the upper level. What does a person feel in this state? He exists on his own. No one pushes their nose into his inner business, so to speak. But on the other hand, he knows that in order to feel the world, feel reality on a higher, broader level, above his loneliness, above his personality, he can feel it when he connects with others. And then he feels a world that is parallel to our world, a world that we build. When you started talking about the linear development, when we keep developing individualistically, is this a lonely place, or is it just a place that I feel that I'm a unit that exists in this world? Yeah, I personally exist and develop, and I feel that no one can get in there, and I feel myself more and more as an individual unit in the world, and it doesn't disturb anyone or myself, because we're all like individual nails. But above us, we build the layer of connection. What I'm trying to understand is, do I feel only my uniqueness, or I also feel lonely inside all of this? You don't feel loneliness because you express your loneliness in your connection with others. 